uh, hopefully we'll have a good talk about this next topic, which is Jay related. It's all is about it? what he's done recently on on his channel because he's a great creator with a lot of great movie reviews. So I'll write down 2.3 for a solid 56 minutes and Damn. 40 seconds. Uh, what I wrote down was exploring Jay Harringue's So Bad It's Good movies. Great reviews of god-awful films. Now, folks, you know, I should probably share my screen to check out Jay's uh, channel because it is criminally underrated. He fulfills a niche that I don't think many fine folks and fellow creators do uh, nearly as much. And uh, you should check Ooh. out you should check out this, folks. I'm going to bring it up right now. Okay. Just, there we go. Uh, can you see it? Yep. Good. Look at this. I mean, the the layout, the colors, the attractive. He's even got the Ooh. steel going on, right? Oh, yeah. I, try, I try my best. I just want to point out here that I was, I, I have confirmed, I can confirm now that I was talking on my ass about Nicolas Cage being an outsider. So <laughs> I, I, I'm an absolute dickhead there. But. And of course, <laughs> folks, I am subscribed, but I should probably change that to all. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> in that, uh, in that regard, because I enjoy what Jay has to offer. Let's go into his channel and, and check out all these, these great videos. Very basic looking, but uh, it's, it's not as cluttered as, say, my channel. Right. is but check out these videos i mean it's very clear very concise <clears throat> very similar hysterical. yes they are thank you they are quite hysterical yeah. um of course uh four women and uh, two guys and one of them's black so that's a good this is, to uh, this is totally uh, irrelevant just totally irrelevant it's, it's, a good, in the film. it's a good it's a good uh, analysis and the one that's the most popular just from this list is the one with Who's that? Well, they're, my, they're my recent ones. So the Black Black Knight with Martin Lawrence is one of the least funny comedy films I oh, ever yeah. seen. It is absolutely dire. But Martin Lawrence is a fucking shocking piece of shit. So mm. like, if you ever watch Big Mama's House, it's just dire. It's just, I don't know why anyone likes Martin Lawrence, but whatever. I, I've actually had some shit on that. Given it's that so, oh, you just don't like Martin Lawrence. <laughs> oh, fuck off. It's rubbish. But yeah. <laughs> but anyway. as, you, as you can see, folks, if you scroll down, you can see some of the videos I've watched. So it has been a, a while since I've checked out. Uh, I like Jade, that one. Uh, content. Which one? That one right there. They're both pregnant. Two girls, one stud. Actually, oh, yeah. Jim that's because that that's, 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 that's got a Jim shoe bomb uh, uh, um, uh, section in it where yeah, he provides Christine's the music clothing. for the stair push. Yeah. It's a good, oh, that is a great wow. song. That is. I think yes, it's it brilliant. is. I use it in all. I use it anytime someone's pushed down the stairs in a Lifetime movie. Jim <laughs> shoe bombs tune is played over it i do find it interesting that uh, a few of your videos have gotten over a thousand are seagal related which i think is great because hey, he does great line. with seagal stuff. they they, oh. they take some time so like obviously then you, like, there's not much i know there's not much interest in lifetime movies so i put the soft porn stuff up they go like, like ten thousand. <laughs> but like if i do lifetime movies i'm lucky to get a thousand so that's great well, I do know, but I will say something about my channel. Well, I don't want to um, mm -hmm. go on about what's uh, what's going on 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 the old ones. Yes. I have a video coming out tomorrow called uh, on a film called which I had never heard of until recently called Dancing. It's on. Has anyone heard of this movie? No. No. no it sounds like a normal, oh, like British my, TV show. No, it's not British. It's American. It's all the actors are from things like Dancing in the Stars or So You Can Think of it, and it is the worst film I have ever seen. And I cannot believe it's an actual film. It is shocking. So please look out for it tomorrow. It is, it's good. Trust me. Uh, is a it like woman, a woman has the killer tomatoes? Oh, like, uh, I've not seen like that. that. No, but it, really? it's, it's terrible. It's, it's just have to trust me. It's fucking terrible. Well, uh, it's good to know that a female has slid into your DMs, uh, Jay. That's. That's fantastic. That, that'll that's be a, that'll be a yeah. one off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> but uh, as I was showcasing, Jay's channel is wonderful. It is criminally underrated, despite its uh, recent Great. growth. And I think Jay does content creation the the right and, and proper way in that uh, respect. And he's uh, done well, and, and hopefully, uh, his his quiz show comes back because I want to win more stuff. Uh, <laughs> in that regard, uh, yeah. in that regard, yes, I I got well, this for free. This is like a hundred quid. 
It is, yeah. Maybe maybe we'll, next time we'll have reality-based music versus uh, someone else. That'd be good. A job it... lot for me, because like I need all the help I can get. So but you've I'll... already won some good, so someone else has to... I think, to be honest, the next thing is fucking zombie with a fucking webcam, I think. I know. Or, I know. or, a, fucking, or a fucking ring light for either of these two. <laughs> yeah. That's but, uh, yeah. I usually it... have a light on right here. I just mm. turned it off because my house is like full of light right now. And I've got one. What's the enough. deal with your green screen? Because obviously, it's, is it actually green? Because it might. No, no. Because it, what is it? Is it just it's, one of those things that you press the button say, "Give me a fake background"? Yeah, yeah, oh, the virtual fine. background right. through the settings right. button. Got it. Okay, that makes okay. sense. Yeah. And <laughs> one of the reasons why we tried to separate, say, reality-based entertainment with reality-based music is that you have, in a sense, different levels of content creator with right. different standards to use because I can't think of a better word in that regard yeah. and trying to trying to bring different genres together can be a bit of a of a challenge but I decided to make it so because we did have a hole it needed filling quickly and uh, our reality and based music filling holes right I know I well, know and also I've got a lot of time for Dempsey Jim and uh, and Zombie mm -hmm. uh, and everyone in reality based music so mm -hmm. I know you like to spin a rumor that I didn't want to be on it because I don't like the people, but that's not true. <laughs> no, the reason is because know. I don't. I, I I've got. I haven't played a guitar for fucking twelve years, so that's. I've that's never really played a guitar. To be fair, the host. Zombie Mains never played a guitar. Oh. Well, you know, but he wow. plays with his laptop or whatever and makes music right. out of it. And or he, what, what uh, you two call music, right. anyway? Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And this was the main idea around Reality Based, folks. All of our shows, the intent was to have separate shows and ultimately blend them all together. The biggest problem is scheduling in that regard, you know, because not everyone can make the same day. That's why we had right. to split them off into, into multiple shows. Of course, I'm on all of them because I am the host and founder. But in this section, we spotlight Jay, because I think of all the regulars of Reality Base, his channel is the sharpest in terms of what's created and how well it's done. A perfect yeah. mix of, of quality and quantity. With me, you just throw everything against a wall, see what sticks, and it, it it's like building a mountain out of shit. You're still building the mountain and getting up there very slowly, very steadily, but uh, of course, other creators do find it difficult to keep on going and to keep on growing because of the scheduling difficulties. Yeah. And I would really love for Dempsey, Zombie Main, and Jim to have their own musical show, and we would be a, a great platform for that musical. Well, just, show. just buy subs. I mean, if it's look, just no, buy no, subs. no, no, just buy subs. No. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm probably that. preaching to the choir, considering somebody who's in the chat. But just oh buy my. snubs. It's fine. Like it's, I mean, it will ruin your channel in the future, but just buy them because then you can tell people, oh, look, I've got this many subs. It's what? fucking bullshit. Everyone What's that, knows. Anna? I just saw right. some drumsticks. What What do you have? Zelgian? Yeah. Or what do you have for your drums? Your uh, I'm actually using um, a crappy digital set right now. Yeah, it's just, oh. um, it cost me like 250 bucks. But I, um, I was Is in. Is that an Alessis? Pardon? Alessis? Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. I, I can't remember right now off the top of my head. Uh, we got it like eight years ago. Uh, it was like 200 bucks, but I've been using it as a therapy two, thing for my legs. Their $200 electric kits aren't actually bad, the Alessis oh, stuff. Right. right. Oh, well, I prefer Roland, personally. Obviously, but they're right. seven grand. Uh, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All yeah. of this is going over my head. What about they're you? They're brand names. <laughs> Talking about uh, digital drum sets. My, my my favorite, I cannot play drums for the life of me, but I'm a bassist, so... Oh, nice. Hang on. Wait there. Oh. Uh, yeah. My favorite hey, rhythm car is a Thunderbird, but they're oh, really nice. big. They're like half the size of me, and it's really difficult to play them with the way that it's shaped. Because right. your wrist keeps hitting the, the body. Right. Um, so usually I go for like a Fender. Oh, okay. Which yeah. is... The and easier to hold. We yeah, yeah the, you, I prefer the slimmer bodies myself personally. Uh, what what kind of? Well, well, I was just going to say to Anna, we got to get you on reality based music. Check yeah. out yeah. that guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of fenders, yeah. Fender. That's big and black, ladies and gentlemen. That's in right. fact, yeah. that, 
that guitar would be perfect for reality base, Jay, because you know, black and white. You gotta you gotta put it the wrong way up though, because it's supposed to be white on top, blacks on the bottom. Yeah, well, yeah. as you can see, I am also a rapist. I mean bassist. Uh, I mean racist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so, you could do a Jimi Hendrix and play your guitar backwards yeah. and still be great. No, if only someone had told him he could buy a left-handed guitar. Mm. Yeah, right. By the, Maybe every... he didn't know they existed. So, go, so I ask Anna about her uh, her bass sure, life. Sure. What's the yeah. deal then? Well, so what, do you used to be in a band or anything? Oh, yeah. I used to be in a band. So I started learning guitar when I was at school when I was like 14 and then um, ended up starting a band when i went back to russia i was like 18 oh, nice. and we played grunge and stuff and then once uh one rehearsal our bassist was sick or something so i picked up the bass instead and it was oh, just yeah i played bass because i was the worst on guitar is that the same with you then <laughs> say what I played bass because I was the worst in our band on guitar. No, no, no. Like, I just, I just liked, like I was gonna say, I just liked the rhythm section. Like it gives you a whole I, different yeah. feeling when you're one with the bassist and you're just like vibing mm -hmm. on your own, and then you can have the guitarist doing his own shit, and like nobody cares right. about them. Whatever. Right, he'll be back eventually. We're gonna stay over here in the pocket, right? Yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> exactly. No, I, yes. I, the reason what I like about bass is that you can, because I'm a control freak. I like the fact that you can control because the drummer followed me, so that you can control. You can control the tempo and you control the mm -hmm. timing. That's what I liked about bass. Yeah. Uh, what I didn't like about bass is that there is literally no uh, no one likes it and you can't show off. But yeah, I used to I sing. Mean, you know, well. so you've always got Seinfeld, man. Yeah, you can. You know, people can feel it. That's what you can feel they the can bass. Feel it, but they can't. If, like, if, like, right. Mom, did you actually hear me play? And she's like, I don't even know what it sounds like unless yeah, you're actually yeah. standing there and you're like in the Pixies or something. And it's like a debate. <laughs> Yeah, you have to get it proper. Yeah, mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Oh, I right. yeah that's it. Mine so, who's your favorite instrument. bass player then? Huh? Who's your favorite bass player? Me. Right. If I if I'm okay, go on, Anna, you go first. Uh, so just because of you know the way I grew up and she influenced me a lot, I would say Kim Gordon. Um, but from the lads. Damn. It's difficult to say. Um, there's just so many. Uh, like, okay, Chris Novoselic, again, because I grew up with that genre. But yeah, Chris Novoselic, because he's such a doofus, but he's so great at it. And again, he, he was just, he connected with Dave Grohl, and they just yeah. had their own thing going. So, Ooh. yeah. Was I don't take this wrong way, Anna, but I assumed you were like in your early 20s. But the fact that you grew up with Chris Novoselic, I assume you're closer to my age. But no, you don't have to answer that. But I'm just saying. That no, you know. I actually, yeah, I get a lot of comments like that. But it was, I think, Call Me Mark asked me that a couple of days ago. And the way I'm going to put it, it's a couple of years before the Berlin Wall fell. Ah. That's when you were born or that's when you were in a band? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sorry, no, 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 yeah, I know you. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Wow. Okay, no, I, no, I get it. I get it. Well, I have to say, you look. I have to say, and I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass mm -hmm. because I'm an internet perv, but uh, you you do look a, a hell of a lot younger than that. So. What's your skincare routine like, Anna? I, I uh, can use right. some tips. A dream. Oh, no, you, you've got a lot more to worry about than skincare, right? Trust me. You start right. at the beginning, so don't, right. don't worry about that. Oh my goodness. What about you, Jay? Well, I'm a massive Morrissey fan, so I'm going to say the, the basis from from the Smith, but it's Andy Rourke, is it? But um, I like um, you know, I think I think the guy from Muse is fucking good. I think the guy from Suede is fucking good. Um, but that's my UK bias. Uh, Jack Bruce would be my classic, like as in that's. Uh, oh. Yeah. But well, either like, of you um, know who Charles Bertot is? Uh, Charles, oh, Charles I was Bertot. just about to say this. Right, that guy. I mean, I used to like mm -hmm. a lot of bass players like back in the day, but I mean, that guy, this guy's a freak. He mm -hmm. is incredible. Like, yes. I watch a bit of like Davey 504, but then that guy, yeah. this child protrude, whatever, however you pronounce it. I didn't know how to, how to pronounce it. No, no, I'm sorry. We're of bright. I'm going to have a fucking go at this. Peter Hook is dire. Oh. Peter oh. Hook fucking <laughs> just tries to play the lead section when it's not his fucking job. I hate that guy. But that's like Les I hate Claypool? Order. Sorry? Like Les Claypool does? I don't know who that is. Uh, Primus. Oh, I don't. Yeah, well, yeah, but he he doesn't just do that. I mean, that the, the sort of Primus is based around him, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So he's it's also the singer. 
Whereas Peter Hook is like, it's like, oh, there's a song going on, and then he's like, right, let me do a solo at the top. Right. <laughs> it that, is, uh, I think he's a bit of an idiot. I, that, uh, yes. That he, I, where, where's I'm he learning. I'm learning so much. So new new part. order. I don't. I'm not a big fan of new order, but I'm a massive mm. fan of electronic, which is Bernie Sumner's like uh, other band with Johnny Marr from the Smiths and uh, I think Neil Tennant from the Pet Shop Boys. I, I love that stuff. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Oh. But anyway, sorry, sorry, Ryan. We're derailing this. No, with music no, it's chat. it's actually it's absolutely fine. I've put oh. plus music talk slash bassist talk, which is perfectly fine. As as you, oh, know, I always like we're to a, we're a, we're gonna I'm fall not. out. We're gonna fall what? out. Oh, oh, oh no. no, I don't know what <laughs> that is. Could you please <laughs> elaborate, Jay? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a band from back in the day. Oh right, so hey. from the seventies. No, it's from the eighties. But like. Oh. For it again, you know that really annoying song that they play everywhere and like. Oh, and... it's Love awful! It's, it's Love will tear us apart. It's fucking constant. It's just like shut up. Yeah, oh. I agree. It oh. used to be cool when you were like 13, 14 and you were all into your like again the Cure. Still love Robert Smith and the Cure. Love the but Cure. Joy Division, yeah. But Joy Division just I don't know it annoys me. Yeah, yeah oh. agreed. Yeah. So there's a lot from the 80s that annoys me. Oh. Uh, but then again, going back and listening to the stuff now, now that it's not on the radio every three seconds, like it used to be back in the 80s, um, I like a lot of the things that were more popular that I didn't yeah. give a chance to back then. So, like the police oh. in particular. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just 